Have you been thinking about picking up an EVH Stripe series? Well, we're going to take an in-depth look at this one today, right here on Geargasms. Hi kids, welcome to Geargasms. I'm your host, Alan Barnes. Today we're going to be taking a look at the EVH Stripe series. Of course, this is the iconic red, black, and white one. These came out in 2010, I believe, and I was one of the very first ones to get one. As soon as I got word that they were coming out, I just about peed my pants in excitement. I've always been a huge Eddie Van Halen fan. One of my very first guitars, I tried to put homemade stripes on it, and it was just a disaster. But finally, after a lot of years, when he partnered with Fender and started the EVH line, they came out with these. I couldn't have been more happy. I don't know if you can see the neck, but it's like a dirty, filthy fretboard. I have played the crap out of this thing ever since I've had it. It's an absolute joy to play. Super simple. <laughs> going to jam the crap out of this thing in a few minutes but first I'll go over the data 22 frets a wonderfully smooth hand oiled finish neck great frets Wolfgang pickup single pickup single volume of course the Eddie thing with the tone it's got a Floyd Rose compound radius neck which feels very very good standard EVH branded tuners Man, oh man, I love this thing. And of course, when I was picking out a strap for this thing, I know you think this is kind of strange to have a Gibson strap on a Fender-created guitar. But when Eddie first came up with his very first Super Strat, he was trying to combine the sound of a Gibson Les Paul and the playability of a Strat. He was one of the first guys to, to hack one up and put a humbucker in it. So I thought this was kind of appropriate. It's also an inside joke of mine with the, with the lightning bolt because Ace Fraley was the first guitarist that got me into playing. So it's kind of a combination of probably my two biggest early influences on guitar. Now here's a negative right up front with these. I think because the demand was so high for these, if you got one of the early ones, it has fret sprout out the ass. Just tons and tons where I actually had to file it. I tried to rehydrate it. I think they were pushing these out of the factory before the maple was dry on these. Now enough of me going blah, 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 and yakking about a bunch of shit you don't care about. Let's get right into playing this beast. <laughs> Thank you. 
I'm not going to tell you the amp that I'm using on this because I want it to be a surprise. I want you to listen with your ears and not with your prejudice. But at the end, I'll tell you it is a real amp. I'll tell you exactly what I used. I forget it's t-shirt shout out time rival sons kids one of the best newish newer bands out there they sound like just good old-fashioned led zeppelin-esque rock and roll but not so much where their carbon copies like greta van fleet is geargasm's number of the week it's two apparently there's two kind of sketchy reasons you can get tongue or throat cancer the first one being Eddie Van Halen said that he got him from putting metal picks in his mouth when he was doing his tapping. Never mind the cigarettes. Never mind the booze. Had to be the picks. Okay. The second kind of sketchy weird reason you can get tongue or throat cancer involves oral sex and HPV. I'm not going to spell it out for you kids. You're going to have to Google that. Don't let it frighten you because nobody has proved not a nothing. Just keep doing what you've been doing. I'm not judging you. I'm not here to, to impart morality on you. I'm not a doctor. I'm not making any kind of judgments. But thanks a lot, Michael Douglas. <laughs> Thank you.
Now the amp I used, I used Amplify Line 6, just a couple of different patches on there, user patches that I downloaded from the interwebs. I wanted you to not be prejudiced against it. It's actually a great sounding little lamp, especially for making videos. Well kids, what did we learn today? We learned that even though this guy just has one pickup, you can do an extraordinary number of things on this guitar as long as those things involve metal and shredding and rock and roll. One trick pony, kind of, sort of. We also learned that the early versions of these guitars, maybe not so much lately, fret sprout is a thing. You don't want that. We also learned that a single humbucker equipped super strat, when it's in the bridge position, it's not really going to get you good clean sounds. So maybe don't even try. If you need a lot of versatility out of a guitar, this is not the one for you. We also learned that if you end up with tongue cancer and you think you got it from putting your face down somewhere where it shouldn't be and maybe your old lady's sort of gazing askance at you and looking for a good excuse, just tell her, honey, it's from playing guitar and it's when I stick my pick in my mouth. Don't worry about the fact that you use Tortex. She's not going to Google that shit. If she believes that, then marry her all over again. As always, I thank you for your time. Please hit the like button. That helps other people find the videos. Don't forget to subscribe. We've got all kinds of content coming up. It's going to be an exciting few months here on Geargasms. Do whatever you want in the next seven days. But whatever that is, I really, really hope to see you next week right here on Geargasms.